hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to make a plant-based frappuccino and it's inspired by starbucks frappes i'm actually using nonetheless starbucks hazelnut non-dairy creamer it's almond milk and oat milk and we are going to make a hazelnut frappuccino so first what i have is some um, uh, ice in my blender, about a cup and a half of ice. You can add, and I'm making this for two people. So I am going to put about a cup of the hazelnut creamer. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, wow, that's a lot. But trust me, y'all, it's going to be delicious. And you'll be surprised to find that I am not adding sugar in this recipe. Basically, because all of my ingredients have... Uh, some form of sweetness added to it. I added a splash of this Da Vinci Gourmet Caramel Syrup. So that also goes in. And then I am going to add in some plant-based milk. You can use whatever plant-based milk you like. So I'm going to pour in some plant-based milk, about a cup of plant-based milk, maybe a cup to a cup and a half. And then I am going to add in about a tablespoon or two of coffee. So y'all, this is for my girls, so I don't want to add too much coffee. Um, it is decaf, so um, shouldn't bother them at all. But um, like I said, I'm not adding too much of it. So I have that in, and now we're going to give this a blend. So my girls have their straws ready and they also added some caramel drizzle to the uh, glasses and um, this is caramel that I made so of course it's plant-based and yeah I eyeball a lot of things for the most part so we're gonna see if I got some measurements right as far as fairness yeah oh my gosh y'all look at this Spot on, like super equivalent. Probably missing a dab, just a dab. There we go. They have their straws out. So now we're gonna top these uh, caramel frappes with. They're so plain, y'all. They don't. They didn't want the uh, sprinkles. So now we're gonna take some of this non-dairy almond milk uh, ready whip, and we're gonna top it. I tried to put some in here, and I don't like the way it was coming out. So let's try this one. So this is what we ended up with. Y'all, when in doubt, make your own whipped cream. Um, nothing against the ready whip, but y'all, these canned, canned whipped creams um, don't always come out, you know, of the lid like you want them to. So I will definitely make some whipped cream and upload a photo of these um, frappes. But for the most part, girls, taste your, your frappes and let me know what you think. So y'all, oh. Well, the girls just finished um, mixing up their frappes, and as you can see, some people can't wait to try it. So it's not like they haven't had these before, but they haven't had this particular flavor. Like, this is the Starbucks-inspired um, hazelnut latte, but in a frappuccino form. So girls, taste them and let, let the people know what you think, or taste them again, I should say. Oh, that's the bum. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, so y'all, as you can see, they love mm. it. These are little treats that I like to make them every now and again. Um, of course, they don't have coffee often, but we do uh, milkshakes and slushies and different things like that. So it's strictly plant-based. No tummies will be hurt after eating or drinking these. So Yes, y'all. When in doubt, make your own whipped cream, by the way. So, I'm glad they enjoy it. Somebody is almost done, look like. Well, all right. Tell the people what they should do, y'all. Y'all should like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. And you should also definitely, I recommend you guys make these because they are the bomb.
-hmm. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on, y'all, so that you're updated every single time that I post. Keep God first. 